But I, I also think it's... It, I totally agree with you, and I think things are changing towards that way of thinking with everyone. But I think when they're remaking iconic films, like The Wizard, if they were making, you know, a, a remake of The Wizard of Oz yeah. or... Um, you know, Disney's brought a lot of, like, they're remaking Mary Poppins and stuff like that. And I think it's difficult initially for people to go, oh, oh Mary, Mary Poppins wasn't Asian or yeah. Mary Poppins Why wasn't not? Latino. No, I think she should be now, but I'm saying you have to give people time because they've grown up from being this big to having this vision of what a certain yeah. role is in an iconic film. But so you, you have to give them time to go, oh, right, OK, that's great, actually. That's great, and we should yeah. be open to that, but give them time. I also think that having uh, casting people in a different colour and uh, unexpectedly is great because it breathes new lead, you know, a new life into stories and plays and films mm. that you might have taken for granted. And recently in the Daily Mail, Quentin Letts, the theatre critic, was moaning on because a very distinguished black actor was cast in a restoration comedy, which was probably set in the 1700s. And then just suddenly, because he's wearing a frock coat and other people on the stage might have been white, you know, people are saying, oh, did he really get that part? Because they had to tick a box. I mean, there is no doubt that box ticking goes yeah, on. Yeah. And the BBC said they want to establish quotas of this, that and the other. And I hate the whole idea of I quotas. Know. I know.